If you are one of my viewers who wish I would talk about sailing yachts a little bit more, then your wish has come true because today we look at two amazing sailing yacht manufacturers located in Holland. Actually, two sailing yacht builders and two motor yacht builders. In this, the final of this series of vlogs that looks at Holland's incredible super yacht industry. So, to quote a rather famous YouTuber, let's get right into it. Truthfully, to own a Royal Houseman is a little bit more than just owning a sailing yacht. The Royal Houseman website doesn't refer to their vessels as yachts, but rather as dreams. And whilst other builders usually have a section called Fleet to showcase the yachts that they've built, Hausman called this section Dreams Fulfilled. This yacht builder is justified in using the terminology. In 2004, they launched what was at the time the world's largest luxury sailing yacht, and what an incredible yacht she was, and still is. Athena is 90 meters in length, and although sporting a design that's reminiscent of days gone by, she's well known for her use of cutting edge technology. And from retro styling to futuristic design, just last year, this builder launched this very sleek looking 58 meter sloop called Ngoni. Her exterior design was by one of the world's most famous sailing yacht designers, Ed Dubois. My personal favorite though has to be this 58 meter catch called Twizzle. The exterior design is by Redmond Whiteley Dixon and the engineering by Dubois. Among other very cool features, she has a retractable centerboard so that she can get into bays and coves with shallow waters. Actually, Royal Houseman does have a strong connection with Northrop and Johnson since a colleague of mine sold a new construction with the shipyard that shall be an 81 meter three masted schooner. This will be one of the top 10 sailing yachts in the world in terms of size. And from Royal Houseman to a company that you may not hear of quite so often, Vitters. Vitters seem to be a shipyard that fly under the radar, but do consistently build some very impressive yachts. In 2015, they delivered this splendid looking 46 meter performance cruiser. She was designed by Herman Frere, another legend in the world of sailing yachts. This was a three year project from the first designs to the launch. Probably the most noteworthy of their achievements came one year after that though, when they launched the sensational 85 meter sailing super yacht Akijo. That was a collaboration between the Vitters Yard and their neighbors, Ocean Co. Many people dream of buying a sailing yacht and cruising around the world. The owner of this yacht did too, but just look at what he's fulfilling that dream in. Like many of these Dutch shipyards, Vitters has built a reputation on their ability to be flexible to meet the requirements of their clients. The 108 foot performance sloop Inui is an example of this. Considerably smaller than the other yachts we've mentioned, she was built for speed, and so Vitters used a carbon fiber composite hull and had a specially designed Andrew Winch interior that weighed just eight tons, which is actually quite remarkable. Well, as you'll know if you watch my videos regularly, I'm not really much of a sailboat man. I mean, I completely understand the appeal of owning such a wonderful object. And when a sailing yacht owner wants to sell his yacht with me, I team up with colleagues who have much more knowledge and great passion for the subject so that we can give good service. But at heart, my fascination is with motor yachts. And I'm not even talking about these huge super yachts either. Earlier this year, I produced a vlog about a pocket yacht that I still believe is the greatest product in yachting today. And it's built by a Dutch yard. In talking about the Van der Valk shipyard, I could of course take you through their solidly built, well-engineered product range of flybridge yachts and pocket explorers. They are 
great products. And I would highly recommend anybody who's looking for a yacht in the 30 to 45 meter range to take a serious look at this shipyard. To be honest, they don't excite me though. What does excite me is this. A wonderful product by the talented designer Core D Rover that I believe, if it's marketed properly, could be a hugely popular yacht for the Van der Valk shipyard. It looks totally different to any other yacht I have ever seen, and to my eyes, it looks absolutely beautiful. Beauty, of course, is just skin deep, though. The real question is whether the yacht makes sense for an owner, and in my opinion, it makes more sense than many other more traditional yachts that you see up and down the south of France and other cruising grounds. There are many yacht owners who use their yacht as a platform to enjoy water sports on, to hang out on the water in peace and tranquility, dropping the anchor in a bay, going for a swim. The pleasure of having a tasty meal on a yacht at anchor is beyond compare, quite honestly, and you would be surprised at the number of quite sizable yachts that are hardly ever slept on. Van der Valk's Beach Club does of course have cabins and they are very well appointed and have ensuite bathrooms, but the focus of the yacht is on how it's used during the day, not at night. It has a huge amount of deck space for a yacht of this size and the entire aft section of the yacht is used as an inside outside beach club area where you can hang out, eat and drink at the water level close to the sea, leading onto a large swim platform that actually hides the Volvo IPS drives that the yacht runs on. It's such a clever yacht, built by such a competent builder. I would love to sell one of these. I think the client would be extremely happy to have been pointed in the direction of this yacht, built by this shipyard. I know before I even start the review of this Dutch builder that I shall get the pronunciation wrong, but the Wacker shipyard have such a charming and captivating product that I just had to mention it. I've actually been on their yachts several times as they ferry people around the Cannes and Monaco yacht shows in great style and comfort. Their products range from the Wacker 55, that I'm pretty sure is the model that I see a lot in the south of France, to the Wacker 37. These yachts are all made with very good hulls, designed by the Dutch naval architects Vrepak, and you can really feel the difference out at sea that they have a very comfortable ride indeed. They use the Volvo IPS drive system, so actually they have very good performance and also pretty decent consumption figures. The thing that most caught my eye when I researched this builder by looking at their websites was the two yachts at the extreme ends of their range though. The larger of these is the 55S. I'm pretty sure that they haven't launched this yet, although I believe it is in production. It looks more modern than the standard 55 and the shipyard so that it's lighter, faster and more versatile. Now that's a yacht I would love to film once it's out there on the water. At the other end of their product range is this seven meter boat called Captain's Launch. I don't think it would take me long to film a walkthrough video of this one, but maybe finally I could film a boat that I can aspire to owning one day. Now on the subject of boats that I could aspire to own, it has to be said that to really enjoy yacht ownership, you have to be comfortable with your budget. This expression that if you have to ask how much it is, then you probably can't afford it is, in my opinion, complete nonsense. I work with ultra high net worth individuals every single day. And let me tell you, they do not like wasting money and they always have clear ideas of how much they want to spend. Now, Dutch yacht builders are amongst the most expensive builders on earth, but they do provide the closest thing to perfection that's currently humanly possible. Now, at the time of filming this video, I have no idea what next week's vlog will be all about, but there's so much happening right now that there's plenty to film and to report back to you on. Now, if you found the Van der Valk Beach Club to be of particular interest, you can watch the video blog that I made of that yacht by clicking here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking here.